Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Rich Ward and I'm a sales engineer for Trimble. Today I'm going to show you the best practices of how to set up a workspace for a multi-story project leveraging Tecla Structures 2024 in the U.S. environment. Now our agenda today is going to include the best practices leveraging BIM thinking. I'm going to cover how to set up a grid at the appropriate levels and also the correct elevations. We're going to roll into set up, setting up the views, importing reference miles, and then how to set up the general arrangement drawings, leveraging the most efficient techniques. So with all that said, let's go ahead and get started. Here we go. Assuming that the audience understands how to import, move, and scale the 2D overlay, and how to configure and match the grid for the first level, I have already set this example up as such. If I were drafting this project in a 2D typical CAD program, and this project has multiple levels, this is exactly what I would do. I would copy this grid over one time for the first level, two times for the second, third, fourth, and so on and so forth. I would then draft out projection lines on all four sides of the building, which will then allow me to start drafting out the elevations. What this does, this makes an incredibly messy and confusing workspace, opening up for exponential errors. At this point, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the superintuitive intelligence of Tecla and how to set up the views, which maintains a clean workspace and ensures accuracy and constructability. The grid coordinates are already plugged in. So now let's instruct Tecla to create the views and the workspaces. So up here on the ribbon bar, let's click on the view list. And you can see there's only one view that's open right now. And we want to populate all the name views over here with the elevations and also the levels. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to click on new view along grid lines. And all this is all good, so let's just say create. And you can see all these new views populated. Tecla is now doing the heavy lifting for us. Okay, at this point, the views have been created at each level and also at each grid line. I now want to show you how simple it is to begin adding geometry at each level. The view that I have open now is level one with the imported structure plan, which is scaled and moved in place. Now I've, I have found that the most effective way to identify the correct elevations upward is to open up an elevated view of the outermost grid line. In this example, it's going to be grid line D. So let's just open up grid line D. And as you can see here, those levels are very clear to now copy the slab up from the bottom accordingly. So let's just do that. We're going to copy special and move this up or copy this up and now all the levels have been identified and it's very clear and simple to stay organized in this project. Okay this view is level one and what Tecla has done, Tecla has isolated the remainder of the building in order to help us maintain a very clear and organized workspace which gives us complete confidence that our work is being modeled correctly according to the construction documents. When we're ready to begin detailing anything on any other additional level, let's just move that additional level over to the visible views. And you can see now we're only working on level two. Same with level three, we can open up level three. Well, let's go ahead and turn on that reference model for level three as well. Again, Tecla is smart enough to isolate those levels. What it also does, it raises the work plane. So when we begin adding geometry to that level, Tecla is smart enough to add all of our work at that level. Let me open up the 3D model and you can see what I mean. So again, Tecla understands the elevation and it understands how to help us complete the job with complete efficiency. Right. 
Next, let's talk about elevations. Again, very simple. First, we want to identify the elevation that we want to begin to work with, which looks like grid line one is a great place to start. Using the view dialog, let's just find elevation grid one and move it into the visible views. Now we are viewing that elevation. Next, we have to manipulate the work plane and set it on a flat surface, which we're looking at. So up here on the ribbon toolbar, let's just drop down this tool called work plane, work plane tool, and let's just snap it to that face. At this point, now we can import the PDF. So let's do this. It's going to be the East View. Scale it accordingly and just move it in place. Insert it and move in place. Elevation is now in place and you can see grid lines line up. Now it would be very simple to begin modeling the geometry that we have in place already. Very simple. We can toggle back and forth to the 3D view. Just to cross-reference our work. Very simple. And then of course, just repeat that same process for all the elevations going around your project. Excellent. In conclusion to this tutorial, I'm going to now show you how to generate shop drawings while maintaining the clean and organized workspace. We're still going to be leveraging this view dialog, and it's going to help us remain organized, keep a clean and simple workspace. So let's start with level one. I'm going to create a shop drawing for level one. I'm going to show you a shop drawing for level two, but then I'm going to just do one elevation as well. Again, Tekla is designed to do most of the heavy lifting for us. First thing we want to do, let's just isolate this work area. That's all we want to see on the shop drawing. Let's right click, create general arrangement drawing. We're going to select the appropriate preset, which is a, a floor plan. Let's just open up. Then we scale it accordingly. And now we have a great plan where we can continue finishing up our shop drawing. Elevation 100 for level 1. We're going to do the same process for level 2. So let's just open up level 2, elevation 114, isolate the work area. Tekla has remembered the settings that we've already put in in the last one, and there's level 2. Again, Tekla does most of the work for us. We'll just repeat that up for the additional levels. Let's open up elevation on grid line one. Isolate the amount of geometry that we want to show up on that shop drawing. And there it is, elevation on grid line one. Very simple to create shop drawings, just understanding the view dialog box and which view that we want to create a shop drawing with. Very simple. And this concludes our tutorial on setting up our workspace for a multi-story project. For additional information, please visit us on our Tecla User Assistant website.